this simulation is all going to be about AC analysis. I'm going to use this common emitter amplifier that we've designed in the past. Um, we're going to have a look at how the sine wave source generates a signal and what's dissipated in the load. Now please bear in mind that we've got capacitors C1 and C2 that are going to affect the performance of the, uh, of the frequency characteristics for this design. So you have to be a bit careful. Capacitance is going to re equate to reactance as 1 over J omega C. So they will affect the low frequency or the low bow point. I'm going to go to new simulation. Here we go. I'm going to call it um, bode plot. Click create. Now we'll pop up a new menu. We want AC sweep. We're going to do a logarithmic sweep because all bode plots are in log terms. I'm going to go from 10 hertz to 10 megahertz. Please note, in AllCAD and in PSPICE, you write the word meg to denote mega. If you write, use the lowercase m, that stands for milli. I will use about a thousand points, a thousand and one points per decade, so I know how many simulation points I'm going to have here. Click apply and OK. Now there's one small problem we have here. This component is a transient component. Therefore it's going to provide a voltage source for time domain simulations, not for AC. We need to make this have some value of signal for an AC simulation. So if I double click, I can now look at all of the spice parameters for this particular model. I need to change this value here, AC. If I edit the AC value and put one volt in, click OK and close that menu, this parameter is now providing a one volt sine wave source to this circuit and then we're going to see what comes out. Now this is not real. We know that this circuit will have a gain of approximately RC 5000 over 25, but we'll see what happens. I always click save and then hit play. So we're now loading the simulation tool. Simulation is running in this bottom status pane. We'll now be generating all of the data for this simulation. We'll see some information here. And we've now got a black graph with nothing depicted. That's because we didn't put any voltage probes on or any trace probes on. Let's go back to the circuit simulation. And what we're going to do, we're going to put two voltage probes onto this um, diagram. Voltage probe here for the input and a voltage probe here for the output. Green input, red output. Let's go back to the bow plot. And as you can see here, green is static at 1 volt, and red has this low frequency break curve, and then we have some gain. I'm going to put a measurement cursor on here. I'm going to swap the cursor to the red, and move up to the peak. We can now see we have achieved a gain of 31. Okay, so this says there's 31 volts coming out for 1 volt going in. There we go. We have now performed our first 